The Christmas shop is open at Liberty. It's the beginning of September, so let's bring it to you. And yes, they were the second to go. Harrods went quite some time ago, but Liberty have gone for it. And for me, I love Liberty, and I just love this view across because they always do the decorations up on the fourth floor where the natural light comes through the roof, and you've got the traditional wooden paneling here, which just makes it so spectacular, and also makes it smell fantastic as well. Sorry, we haven't got smell vision through YouTube yet. Right, let's show you some of the Christmas decorations that they've got available here at Liberty this year. We're gonna call this section the nature section. Yes, they haven't named anything like some of the other stores do, but we're gonna call this the nature section. And as you can see, lots and lots of animals. So enjoy having a look around these decorations. Now, if you want to have a close look at any of these individual decorations, you need to use the pause button on YouTube. And the reason we're going through it at a fair rate, just in case any keyboard warriors start going, oh my word, you're going far too fast, I can't see. Hit the pause button. And the reason for that is this video, if we didn't go at this speed, well, it's about 20 minutes or so at the moment, it would go on for hours. So we have got to get through, hit the pause button, and then you can have a good look at individual decorations, like these cute and cuddly foxes, which you can put on your tree. If you're a regular watcher of the channel and you've been watching for quite some time, you'll know how much I love snow globes. And you can see I've been at this one already. Um, and actually it stayed snowing for quite some time. There you go, that's on my uh, snowometer. Right, newly created and patented to London visited. So here we go, more Christmas decorations. But you, the snow globes they've got around here and we'll definitely be featuring more as we go through different shops during the course of winter as well. And actually last year we did give away a tiny one, uh, which we got from John Lewis. So we can't wait to see their decorations coming also in the next month or so. If you're thinking of coming down to Liberty, it's so easy to get to. It's just behind Oxford Circus Tube Station, so it makes it really easy with the Victoria, the Baker Loo, and also the Central Lines. And also, you've also got the brand new entrance coming out of the Elizabeth Line for Bond Street, which is just near Hanover Square, which is also just over the road. So Liberty is just off Regent Street, uh, and it's right near the London Palladium. It's really accessible. You've got lifts that take you to all the floors, and the Christmas decoration department is upstairs on the fourth floor and by the way you can't get lost here because there are so many staff here to help you and that's another beautiful thing it's an old traditional store where they've got so many people around to help you find your way around the store as well and I think that's probably what I love so much about it it keeps so much of its tradition in sort of an area of Regent Street which has got many many brand new shops that are in whereas Liberty has been here for many years Now, if you'd like to know more about the history of Liberty, go to your podcast provider, put in London Visited, and you'll find that we've done a podcast on the history of Liberty. You'll find out all sorts of really interesting facts, such as when it was created, etc., and who it was created by. But not only that, you'll also find out why a lot of the wood that was used here was actually from a ship that was being scrapped. How about that for a bit of info? So go to your favourite podcast provider and find London Visited, and you'll find the episode of Liberty in there. Now here next to the Christmas tree, you've probably got what you'd probably term as your more traditional Christmas decorations, your father Christmases, your Christmas stockings with bits hanging out of it and all various bits and pieces like that. Uh, yeah, and I don't show me, it's just my interpretation of what they are. You call them what you like, just still have a good look because they are very, very nice.
all I can say is I'm so glad I didn't do a video call home whilst I was recording this video for you. Otherwise, I think I might have spent a fortune here at Liberty with some of their Christmas decorations, especially these sort of hanging ones you've got here, sort of the glass hanging ones just at the bottom of the screen. By the way, if cherubs are your thing, no worry. You've got all different cherubs doing all sorts of different things. There you go, ideal for your tree. So we go from some traditional decorations into something more traditional. Yes, it's nativity scenes. And here on this chest that they've got on the wall, you've got all different sorts of nativity scenes here. Plus, as you can see, a selection of snow globes, which I had to go at all of them, set them all off before leaving here, especially the Mary Grow wearing one, that was brilliant. And interestingly, whilst I was making them all very snowy, the staff were sort of walking around watching me. Yeah, I wonder if I'll be blacklisted from Liberty for next year. I've also noticed this year, not too much in the way of Nutcracker soldiers. You've got a couple there and you've got a couple here as well, in front of these sort of wreath garlands, which they've got hanging up. There goes something extremely decorative and you can just see it swinging there in the breeze. Uh, you've got sort of a holly one and you've also got a mistletoe one as well. Right, we're now into the sort of the felt animals. I know many people like collecting the mice and you've certainly got lots of different types here, but I love the Christmas pudding baubles they've got here at the bottom as well. And these are certainly tree stoppers with a statement and that statement is, I've got no room between my tree and my ceiling. If purple's your thing, and let's face it, we're in Liberty, so everything has got Liberty purple, just like you've got here with blues and greens and all sort of mixtures here, and also very, very much the peacock theme, even those reindeer at the back there, then this is the section you wanna to come to. But once again, that view across the whole of the Liberty floor is brilliant. So what do you think about our colour naming theme? Do you think uh, Liberty will hire me next year to, so I can come in and do their sort of style for them? Yeah, I don't think so either, funnily enough. So these are this year's Liberty porcelain ones. So they've um, actually got the year on it, 2023. And then you've also got the Liberty shop on the outside of it. And how about a little Liberty teapot? There you go, hanging there nicely with Liberty on it as well. They go for about 20 pounds each. And just in case you didn't believe me about the peacock theme, there you go, you've got peacocks galore. And whilst you're walking around and you're looking, you've got all the different colors and all the different types of ornaments, uh, some of which you think, would you ever put those on a tree? The brilliant thing is, if you do, they've just got them here for you. Now, don't forget, if you're really interested in some of these things, some of them are available on the liberties.com or liberty.co.uk. That address works for both of them, it takes you through to the site and you can order some of this stuff online. But of course, the quicker you order it, the quicker it'll be out to you. How about these little guitars? Not bad, eh? And how about a view of that across the shop? Now, this is what I mean by you never really, would you put those on a tree? Those tankards, the big German beer tankards? I guess some people would. And how about that? A whole multitude of instruments and also every handbag for every occasion on your Christmas tree. 
Now for me, I would call this whole area the sort of the modern decorations. There you go, you've got baby's first Christmas ones. I remember seeing those over at Harrods actually, similar sort of thing. So you can celebrate your baby's first Christmas, either a boy or a girl. And these are just lovely. These are the Liberty decorations for this year with the gingerbread house. And I just love the Liberty print and the Liberty uh, store on the baubles as well. I think it's great that both Harrods, Liberty, and also I believe some of the others are about to go live with their Christmas decorations as well, because I've had messages from so many people saying that they're coming to London between now and Christmas, and actually are coming sooner rather than later. And of course, you'll be able to grab some of these things and take them back as souvenirs to hang on your tree to remember your trips to London. Here, you've got everything from ski goggles and books and robots to hearts and lips, and also um, Miffy, if I remember rightly, the little rabbit, which used to be really, really popular. And also, how about those? Do you think you could write with those pens as your Christmas decorations? So if drink is your thing and you fancy putting all, all sorts of bottles and stuff on your Christmas tree, there you go, you got it catered for. Not only have you got the glasses with the cocktails, but you've also got the bottles as well. Bottles of whiskey, vodka, you name it, champagne, you've got it. Right, these baubles at the bottom, again, are the Liberty baubles for this year. And I just love the London ones there with buses and various other bits. And let's face it, if you're a Diamond member, you may be seeing those again before Christmas. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, do us a favor, will you? Give the video a thumbs up. If you can do that, that'll help the video get spread around YouTube more so we can help other people to see other bits of London. And also, if you haven't subscribed, do hit the subscribe button and also the notification button because we've got so many videos to come showing you London this Christmas 2023. Now last year, going around the different places, time was definitely a theme. And this is the only time orientated uh, themed bauble that I've actually seen so far this year, funnily enough. And if looking at those makes you think, where are all the London decorations? Don't worry, we've got a whole section dedicated to loads and loads of London decorations here at Liberty. But as you can see, crowns are still a thing, no matter how small or big they are. And again, they've done it with the fairy lights just hanging from the ceiling, making it feel so seasonal. Fantastic, love it, well done Liberty. These look really impressive. These are all handmade baubles and they're all individually made, which is fantastic, but they look beautiful as well. Really stunning, all set up in this collection. And if you love your wild animals, and let's face it, they're all hanging here, so they're probably livid, um, then they've got a whole section for you, including that lions with crowns on, uh, leopard print baubles. I'm sure I saw something like that over in Harrods. Giraffes, rhinos, you name it, it's all glittered and blinged up for you. And it's that Gisela Graham once again. And how about that, tiger's heads. If you're like us as a family, you get the Christmas decorations out every year, and as you do, you drop your prize baubles. Yep, the ones you really love the most. Well, with these, these are stuffed baubles, so they're as soft as anything. You could drop them as much as you like, they're certainly not gonna break. Now this, I'm gonna call the Eclectic Collection. Yeah, I can imagine, can you imagine someone from Liberty watching this and going, what the heck is he going on about? I'm gonna get a phone call very, very soon, I think. Anyway, it's all multicolored, and it's all different types of things. There you go, you've got more cherubs, you've got all sorts of different colors as well. So there you go. And then we go on to our golds. So as you know, we've been naming some of the sort of the groups of decorations. What would you name them? If you've got better alternatives, let me know in the comments down below. It'd be really good to see, even if they are funny ones, go for it. If sort of blinging up your tree and making it as colorful as possible is your aim, wow, have they got some decorations here. Let's call this the multicolored selection. So in this chest here, you've got pear-shaped baubles with fantastic, lovely textures. And here you've got maps of the world, and the world and the land is marked by silver glitter. Very nice. And then here we go, even more multicolored baubles for you.
So it was still to show you some of the neutral things, some of the crowns, and also definitely some of the London decorations. But what I love about Liberty and also Harrods have done it as well, and they all do, is that they put different selections together. So no matter how you theme your tree, you've got all the different styles you could possibly want. Fancy something a bit more ferocious for Christmas? How about these couple of grizzly bears guarding the door here, just on the stairwell here in Liberty on the fourth floor? So here we've moved into our neutral section. So if you fancy something looking quite plain or sort of glass effect, then certainly this is the area that you want to come to. Now, if you haven't quite got into the Christmas spirit yet, but you want a little something extra, then I'll put a playlist up in the top right hand corner for you of our Christmas 2022 videos. Whole of London with Christmas being shown. So if you click on there, that'll give you a great selection to get you in that festive spirit. Now I just want to share the Christmas love because when I came up here and filmed this, which was on the 1st of September, there were actually people in the lift really excited to come up here. So I know a number of you are going to say, oh, it's too early for Christmas. It's never too early. And a number of you will agree with that, no doubt. But also, I'd like to also tell you, they've had an official complaint. Yeah, on the first day they opened uh, near the end of August, someone went to customer service and officially complained it was too early. Now, I don't know what their response was, but it was probably something like, thanks for letting us know. So great to see that crowns are in again, and there are some really, really big ones. You're gonna see those hanging from the tree in just one second. And it makes you wonder where you put them on a tree because they're so big. Mind you, if you've got a tree that's about 20 foot tall, not gonna have a problem there. Now we've still got the London decorations to show you yet. Yes, there's a couple here, but we've got some really great London uh, decorations to show you as well. So do let us know in the comments down below, which decorations are you loving the most? It'd be great to see, because there's always a wide cross section. I know prices are always something that people want to know. And if you want to buy this little set, there we go. That's the bear, the heart, and also the bus. That's going to be 40 pounds. It may well even be on the website. So do check it out. So the question is, how do the decorations and the setup for this year, 2023, compare with last year? Well, I've put a link to the video up in the top right hand corner we did of Liberty 2022. So if you pop to that afterwards, you'll be able to see exactly what they look like and then you can compare between the two and let us know which is your favorite year. So we're now getting well and truly into the London decorations and that heart there of Liberty at winter is one that we gave away in a competition last year. So do keep watching the channel because we'll be doing more competitions as we get closer and closer to Christmas, but also leaving enough time to get the stuff posted out as well to the winners. And we'll be doing that at the tail end of October here on this channel. So another good reason to subscribe. And I just love this view across the middle here where you can see down to the other floors. That's the beauty of Liberty. So here we have the reindeer guarding the Christmas tree. I wonder how many people have caught themselves on that. But then if you look at the Christmas tree, it's got those massive crowns that we talked about earlier. Plus it's got some other London decorations as well, including in the Liberty purple, gotta get that right. And also Big Ben in gold as well. So you've got the Liberty bus. We'll show you that on the shelf in a second. And also a Liberty taxi as well. Once again, in the Liberty purple. 
So on the left hand side you've got Santa playing the bagpipes, you've got all sorts of London bits here including telephone boxes, post boxes with snow and various other things and just look at those baubles at the bottom, sort of Union Jack baubles. And then you've got the Liberty Purple Taxis, um, you've also got the Queen, now they had them last year, I'm absolutely sure of it, so I wonder if they've kept those, there you go, you can see the price on there, £24, so you can catch some of the prices as well. And once again they're Grisilla Graham and you've also got, yeah there seems to be a trend this year, corgis with crowns as well as Scotty dogs as well. So royalty is definitely a theme again this year for your Christmas decorations if you want to get into trend there. Now not only have they got the great decorations here at Liberty but they've also got a gift shop which is right part of this which is sort of next door so it doesn't overlook the central well that looks all the way down and here it is once again with the fairy lights that are up and this is great just to come walking around because you can see sort of advent calendars, Christmas cards, wrapping and various other gift ideas as well. So if you're really stuck for gift ideas this year it might be worth watching this bit and also some of these things you can get online as well as we've mentioned before so you just go to liberty.co.uk and have a look and see what selection they've got on there but they've certainly got a selection of stockings Now call me old fashioned, but if you're looking for a traditional style of advent calendar, yet yeah, ones without chocolates, just the normal ones which open up and you've got like Father Christmas behind number 24, sorry to give the game away and a bit of a spoiler, they've got a whole selection here. There you go, you've even got a Liberty one. Wow, what else could you ask for? Oh, a couple of Liberty ones actually. In the top right hand corner I've put a link to our playlist which we're pulling together for Christmas 2023 and as we film more videos we're going to put more videos in there for you. So if you're joining this one late and having a look you'll find there's a bigger library than those starting right near the beginning. Anyway click on that and you'll see a selection of videos for London Christmas 2023. I love the way that Liberty keep it so simple. They've got the fantastic building here, but all they do is they put some fairy lights on the ceiling and make it look wonderful. And that's a lovely looking gingerbread house and no your eyes aren't deceiving you, 450 pounds. With light up, you'd expect it to have its own generator in there, wouldn't you? Showing you around the Christmas gift department, I'm hoping that's given you some ideas of what you might want to buy other people ready for Christmas 2023. Always worth a quick tour, isn't it? It gives you those ideas. Here's something if you really fancy doing something different here at Liberty and you can have your own bauble printed with your name on. Now it's going to set you back £24.95 so let's call it £25, let's just round it up. You've got a choice of bauble colours, you've got uh, the gold, you've also got red and you've also got the Liberty purple as well. And it's quite simple, someone will help you and you get your name printed on the bauble. It's that easy. So if you fancy something special, how about giving that a try this year? So what did you think of the Christmas decorations here at Liberty, the second to go this year? And how do you think they compare with Harrods? Do let us know in the comments down below. Now, if you've not seen our Harrods Christmas decorations video from this year, and they went a good few weeks earlier, then I'll put a link to it up in the top right hand corner. Then do drop your comments down below. Tell us which one you think is the best.